Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Captain of Industry. Um, in the last episode we uh, set up a bit of steam power over here and that's kind of working, though I do sometimes wonder about um, the ability of this to actually work. I'm going to keep an eye on it while this is, before this gets up to 200, I just want to see if that then automatically starts um, throwing those out or whether it'll actually stop. No, for some reason it doesn't actually um, decide to move from one to the other. And of course, when that happens, it means that we've got issues, right? It's going to not have the output be able to work. Um, and now that one's out. And now it needs to throw out that. And now the rest needs to go out. So somehow I think you almost need multiple um, of these smokestacks, even though um, the smokestacks can quite comfortably do all of it it seems like you um because because it doesn't actually naturally swap from the one to the other unless i um have to do something to get it to work but really it doesn't seem to naturally want to want to switch from one to the other one i mean it should move yeah honestly it should move from one now the next one should be this one because it's got the most and then that one and then if it does that in terms of its recipes, cycles through its recipes, that would have been awesome. What does this do? What does this mean? Oh, show in 60 seconds. Okay, wow, that's an interesting one. Okay, I'm going to leave that be. I may keep an eye on this and see multiple smokestacks might be the way to go. Do we have enough here? Yeah, that seems to be okay at the moment. This seems to be okay. Um, okay, first things first, what I want to do is I want to actually go ahead and double up this um, this setup. I think that would work. We should be able to um, double that up. So let me see about doing that. So can I, how do I copy it? I believe it's the planning mode clone. So what I'll do is I'll do this. Right. And what I would like to do is flip that around. Well, it probably can work by trying to do this, right? No, nah, it's not going to work. So what I'll do is let's uh, let me go ahead and clone um, these ones. Let me clone this guy, uh, and instead of doing that, let me flip it around. Is that is that right? Now let me rotate it. Yeah, that's the one. I'm after this. That's what I'm after. Um, let's try and line it up like so. I'll leave it a little bit of room just to make sure we've got a bit going on for ourselves over here. So let's do that. Start off with this one. Um, get a little bit of... Oh, can I? Yeah, I can tie that in there. That should be good. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and grab another smokestack so we don't have to um get too much going on uh let me just try and link this up over here that should work and then the molten track uh we want uh, some of these guys on the other side of course so let's and you know what this one we could potentially run it um something like this right I think that could work. Let's uh, let's see about that. So if I hold shift, I'll do two of them. Okay, let's pause the game for a second while we quickly have a look. Um, what I would like to do is, uh, ooh. Something like that, and then I would like to go up. One up here. And how do we do it then? Uh, drop it back down. And run it up here. And can we, for instance, tie it in over there? I wouldn't mind tying it in. Could we? Uh, let's go up to about there. I'm pretty keen to get it to 
That's not going to work, though. Uh, we could do this. It's a little messy, but I think I'll go ahead and do that. And then what we'll do is from here, we'll go there and we will continue it and go in there. Perfect. So that means um, all of this should now, in fact, work. Well, not quite. Um, over here, we would... Um, ooh, no, 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 no. None of this, none of that. We would like this one to be running. Um, and ooh, we need to um, bring these guys in. So that's all sorted. What I would, however, like to do is just make sure we grab something like this. And very similarly, something like that. Oh, actually, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so hopefully that means we can, in fact, now... Ooh, 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 we, uh, we're missing this guy. There we go. Nice. Now, hopefully that all works. Lithetic rubber has been researched. We also now have um, we ship's weapons underway. I'm loving this. This will be awesome. If this now starts working, we just need to make sure that we get all of this in there. I would like us to go ahead and build another one of these guys and probably two more of them um, to go to the coal mining. There we go. Things will start um, start moving along for us here, I think. Working. Yes, absolutely. Things are underway here. So we effectively just quickly doubled our production of, uh, of iron. That's the plan, at least. Uh, truck cannot find trees to harvest. Ooh, uh, let's have a quick look. Oh, yes, we've got practically cleared out some of this stuff. Uh, we'll grab that guy, and then what we'll do is we'll um, yeah, do all the rest of this. Move this out of the way so we can expand some of our operations over here, including this mining operation. I wouldn't mind getting that all um, all sorted. We're missing a bit of a truck over here. Give me an extra truck so we can start moving this a little more effectively through here so we can plan out the rest of these journeys. Um, that's all good. This is allowing us to dump some sand in here. Just a little bit of sand, it seems. So that's all good as well. Oh, that one's all done. Nice. Let's move it on over here. Extra one and an extra two in there. That should... Should hopefully do the trick. Uh, and then I need to start actually excavating a little bit downwards over, over there. Um, is this providing me pretty good um, uh, electricity? It does seem to be doing the trick. Okay, that's a good setup over there. What's going on over here? Awesome. Now let's see. Shall we go and explore elsewhere? Let's um, let's head off this direction and see what we can, what we can grab. And then we really need to start um, fixing and repairing various things. Okay, 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 okay. Research is ship's weapons and then we have got nothing beyond that. Okay. All good. Uh, rain is being picked up quite nicely over here. Actually, this was running out of, uh, of water. Yeah, we do need to uh, work on our irrigation a little bit. Why are we out of power? And now I think, I'm very sure, the reason we're out of power is because I don't know why. I honestly, I don't know why some of this stuff becomes problematic. Is this going to... Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give this a bit of a P7 on, on that. And what I'll do is I'll switch on one of... One of these guys, just to make sure that we've got um, a fair... We, we're always going to power this guy so that we um, we can get water in here. I think that's the uh, that's appropriate for us to have a look at. If we power that, we should hopefully get this all um, moved along. Now we don't have enough maintenance. So let's quickly see what the situation is over there. Did we run out of anything? We might have been out of power for a little while. So I'll just give it a little bit, see if it can... Get back up. Uh, okay, so we've been defeated over here. So really the next big thing for us is to start fixing some of these things. So this guy needs about 80 construction part twos. How many construction part twos do we have available? We are all good with that. So let's um, let's see about loading a ship up to be able to um, start the repairs over there. 
And similarly, we'll have to start the repairs on the other side also. But I believe we should be good on uh, on stuff now, right? We've got construction parts. We've got construction parts twos. Um, that's kind of all working quite nicely. Okay, we really need to start planning out our next. Um, ooh, hang on. Where's my where's my boat? My boat went over here. Can I? I don't think I can get anyway. So just just go home, um, and we'll deal with it from there. It's kind of the end of what we can do there. Unity is all good. Um, we should have a fair bit of diesel available. Not as much as I would have liked. No research. So let's see what is the next piece for us to research. Settlement power could be interesting. Steel smelting could be interesting. Ship's armor could be interesting. Um, edicts, yes. Com gas combustion, maybe. Ooh, mechanical power storage. Turbo con turbine controls. Once manually enabled for steam turbine, it prevents it from wasting steam by automatically shutting it off in, uh, in case there is a large excess of mechanical power on the shaft. Once the power of the shaft gets low, the turbine gets restarted. However, restarts are not instant, um, so the shaft should be accompanied with a mechanical power storage to achieve stable supply of energy. I don't quite know how to do some of this, but this um, this seems pretty good. I think we, sh we, we, we definitely want that. Gas combustion, we're not creating any of this yet, so gas combustion might not be um, quite what we're after just yet. Ooh, sulfur processing. Synthetic rubber, how do we get synthetic rubber? Um, from diesel and coal, we can create rubber at a rubber maker. Or from naphtha and coal, we can create um, rubber. Okay, that's interesting. And then uh, distillation stage three, we've got light oil plus steam high gives me naphtha and fuel gas. So there's a lot of stuff that we can do. Then if we go sulfur processing, we can do diesel plus sulfur to make rubber. Mm, we can also use sulfur and water to create acid. There's a lot happening here. I really want this, but I think first things first, let's quickly get the ship's armor so we can uh, start upgrading our ship a little bit. Um, and then I can start planning some of this stuff out, though I think sulfur processing. Is sulfur processing what we're after? Do we want naphtha plus sulfur? What here is creating sulfur? Do we have anything creating sulfur? Not yet. So maybe we'll, uh, we'll keep it at that. Now let's go from there to sulfur processing and then mechanical storage and then maybe gas combustion. And uh, I think then we would like to do maybe settlement power and um, and we can then go into steel smelting. Let's do that. So we've got a bit of a queue, um, a bit of a queue underway over there. Now we can drop off um, crude oil over here, and then what we would then do with the crude oil is effectively go to through the various stages of distillation. Stage one gives us. It takes 8 crude oil plus um, 2 um, high powered steam um, and that gives us medium oil plus heavy oil plus sour water. Distillation 2 then takes the medium oil and plus some more steam gives us diesel plus light oil and then stage 3 takes the light oil and gives us uh, plus an extra steam high and gives us uh, 4 naphtha plus 4 fuel gas. Okay, and then we can kind of see about using that to create the rubber um, and that to create more diesel, I think. So let's let's have a look. So this takes in 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Um, so in 20 seconds, we use eight crude. We need two steam. This one takes eight and one steam. And this one takes uh, four, which is the output there, which is the output there. Excellent. And um, and one steam. So basically, for one steam um, facility, we need two sets of these guys. Okay, so let's start by having a bit of a look how this could look. Now, I don't, I'll, let's go into planning mode, I think is what we're after. So it means it'll pause it. Okay, so what we're after is crude. Crude needs to become, we, we need to kind of store a, a ton of crude stuff over here. So let's, let's make a little bit of room here. And let's see about doing a nice 
large crude supply, we should be able to potentially even double that up. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's go ahead and double that up. I want to make sure that we've got tons of stuff available over here. So what I'd like to do is connect that. Okay, so there we go. So that's our crude oil storage facilities. Now let's move on. Distillation stage one, where we would like crude oil. Let's run, yeah, two of them. Let's, uh, let's move, give it a little bit of room. So we'll do that one over there. And this is steam in and sour water out. No designations to be mined by the mining tower. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's quickly fix that. We need to make sure that we um, kind of keep a, a pace with, with all of this stuff. We would just like to kind of flatten it out a little bit over there. So do a little bit of flattening over there and we can try and flatten a little bit more along these lines i think that should be okay we should be able to continue our work um over there now these guys are out of fuel do we have a diesel shortage why oh crap you're out of fuel yeah so that's a bit of a it fills up, but not quite right. Okay, let's see. Can I just fix this for the time being? We'll have to kind of sort out the entire thing a little bit better, to be honest. So let's go ahead and pop that in. What I'll do is I'll unpause it and I'll quick deliver it so that we can get um, that fueled up again. There we go. So now we should get fuel back in here and hopefully our... Um, our stuff is going to keep going. Our, how's this going? All good here. Uh, that we've run out over here. Let's double check what we've got in terms of our mining area. Yes. So we're effectively running out of a mining area here. So let's, um, let's continue to expand that a little bit. Yeah, hopefully that does the trick. Ship armor has been researched. Okay, now... Let's have a quick look while we're busy planning and things. Let's do a bit of a repair here ever so quickly. Now, okay, back to this. I do get distracted a fair bit. Now, um, I would like to double up on this stuff at least. So let's flip it around. Yes, there we go. Um, I think we'll do a little something like this. Okay, then from um, distillation, then we go to distillation stage two where we again would like some steam. Diesel will come out of this. So we'll go ahead and uh, we can probably get this. Now, what do we do? We want to um, add a bit of a buffer in here. I'm, I'm always wondering whether I should do a buffer or not. Should I do a buffer? What does this one do? So we don't have anywhere to any anything to do with this uh, with this uh, light oil or heavy oil. The heavy oil we can't yet do anything with the heavy oil. Um, I am tempted to to produce uh, to put some to put a buffer in there just uh, just so we're um, we're being a little bit more cautious about it. So let's do one on that side and one on this side. And uh, what we can do is go ahead and tie that in. There we go. Then from that buffer, we go ahead and move to distillation stage two, where we'll get that oil in. We're going to provide us with that. Let's flip it around and we'll yeah, tie that in there again. But let's do that. I believe that should be a sufficient buffer. Now from here, we're getting the uh, the diesel to come out. So we will have to get a bit of a diesel storage going on. Um, and then we'll go to stage three. Now again, what we could do is we could uh, run a bit of a buffer. Though I never know if you really need it. If it's if it's working properly, we uh, we we honestly, we don't need it. Uh, but I'm not always convinced everything will work 
properly. We're um, because I'm still I'm still kind of learning this game, so we're still kind of um, going by um, a rule of thumb. So it's not as compact as it probably could be. Uh, and then we'll go there, and we will certainly flip it around and go there. Okay, now that is good. So now running in the middle. Um, this guy we can run out somewhere over here and deal with sour water in some way, shape or form. We've got tons of, well, we've got the diesel coming out on this side. So I think we need a bit of a diesel storage here. And then we should, uh, at this stage, there's nothing we can do with heavy oil, right? Let's have a quick look here. If I go to sulfur processing, nothing we can do there with the uh, heavy, heavy oil. Can we, where do we... Uh, where do we use heavy oil? Sour water is something we'd like. Acid, construction, maintenance three, assemblies. Uh, so we don't have anything for heavy. NAFTA processing over here somewhere. Uh, wastewater treatment, glass making. Really nothing to be done with heavy oil? Okay, let's uh, pop out of this. Let's go to recipes quickly. Yeah, so that's happening. So heavy oil. I want to see what I can do with heavy oil. Heavy oil. Oh, we can flare it off. And I think that might be the right thing to do. From a cracking unit, we can use heavy oil plus hydrogen to create even more diesel. Or we can use, oh, in a combustion, ooh, in a combustion, we can use the heavy oil to turn it into steam so that we don't use coal. Mm -hmm. I am tempted to do that, but we'll need water though. Okay, but at the, at the moment, what we can do is we can flare it off. So let's flare it off um, or get ready for a flare off potentially. Now, we need... Um, Let's pause it here for a second. I don't want us to finish this thing off. Um, so when is gas combustion coming in? So that's one. Uh, so let's remove it from the queue and go straight from sulfur into gas combustion. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Uh, we'll add it back to the queue at the end. Okay, that's okay. Let's do that. So we'll get gas combustion to start working on that. Now, wait, let's get some storage going. So we need a fair bit of diesel storage and I am tempted to kind of store it in this area over here. So we have enormous amounts of diesel. Um, so diesel will be coming out um, probably a little something like this. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and tie them all together. As a starting point, these four should probably do the trick. Now, what I'm after is a pipeline for um, a pipeline for uh, for some stuff over here. Mm, I'm just thinking. I'm just wondering. Should we we should put a splitter in here um, with these kind of things? So when this thing overflows, we could obviously um, draw some some stuff out of here. But um, what will what will happen is if we draw stuff out of this. We'll end up with uh, with it going in uh, in both uh, in both directions equally, and I think that might be a bit of a challenge. So let me take out these buffers. So let's uh, get rid of all of these. I'm going to take out all of these buffers, and um, in, instead put some pipe balancers in. Um, and I don't think we're going to. Yeah, I do wonder about the whole thing. Uh, let's uh, let's play some pipe balancers um, like this. I think I think that's the the more appropriate um, way of dealing with it. So now we would uh, basically do a bit of this, and then the question is: Do we? Uh, I don't I don't like I don't like the idea of doing that. If we go with um, with a small ramp. Ooh, we could potentially get a small ramp to work. Um, I'm just kind of thinking about it. That 
Um, we could we could get a small ramp to work somewhere over here. Now, what it what it does do is if we do the ramp, it doesn't actually get you to go up and down the middle though. So maybe we don't we don't need we don't need it. We could always put it in later if we if we do if we do end up needing it. Let's uh, let's just let's just do this. So with that in mind, we could then um, have have those um, additional products move on out in the other direction. Now unpause the game. I've paused it for for some for some reason. Now we we need. I would think about gas combustion. But we could potentially also do um, the coal coal combustion. If I can, if I can find, um, if I can find the boiler somewhere, um, I also see we are running low on food. So I'll have to have a quick look at what we can do with that. Where is the boiler? Sour, ooh, sour water stripper. Ah, oh, this is where we get sulfur from. I was wondering about it. So this is where we get sulfur from. And this also needs steam though. So now we're going to have not quite enough steam. Hmm. Is it over here? Where is the... What is this? Air separator. Ah, good, 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 good. Um, over here, the boiler. So if we go and do the whole boiler thing... I'm almost tempted to... to run at something like this. Um, over here. We'll go across that way. Okay, there we go. Come on. You've got to be kidding me. Um, I don't know. Why doesn't this thing want to want to tie in here? Let's try that uh, one more time. Pipe to the... Oh, okay, all good. Okay, so that actually does work. Uh, we'll go from there to there to there. Also, awesome. Uh, of course, what's going to happen here is they won't actually be able to deliver any of this stuff. Now, the other thing we will need to do, and we'll see how that works. We'll need the sour water to go somewhere. So if I have a quick look at um, sour water, sour water, something, something, sour water stripper. That takes um, some more steam yet again. Um... And I believe we're using all of our steam now. This is a full eight, uh, eight steam. All right. So if I go to the boiler, we get eight steam out of um, that setup over there. If we go to gas combustion, just have a quick look at this. This also only produces eight steam all the time. But what I was kind of thinking, maybe when we get that um, done, we could, but we're going to use need water yet again for that. We could, oh, and that's every 10 seconds, actually. That's an interesting one. That's every 10 seconds. Let's go back. Hang on, hang on. As this every 10, oh, it's every 10 seconds. We'll have way more steam. Okay, okay. We're going to have enough steam here. Every 10 seconds, we've got eight steam. And just double check this. This is two steam, four steam. So this is effectively half um, of that full use then. Does any of these other things require steam? Only the sour water stripper. Uh, let's see, how much sour water do we actually produce from stage one? Let's see, uh, come on. That's four every 20 seconds. And this one uses eight every 20 seconds. So this is all you are going to need. So we will have um, a little bit more steam, um, basically, uh, useful right over here uh, unless we where am I gonna I wouldn't mind uh, just kind of popping it in there but maybe what we do is we flip it and we bring it in to this side we should be able to run additional stuff in here so I think that's going to be okay
If we do, oh, we could we could bring the steam straight down over there. If we do something like this, right? We place that in there. We uh, we bring the steam. Uh, actually, I think I would I'd rather do it. Like that. Um, actually, let's uh, let's let's cancel this thing, and we move it. I want to move it one over. Where is that? Uh, the sour stripper thingy. There we go. That's it. So if I line it up over here, we need to make room for the heavy oil. But the heavy oil could also go to the other side. Uh, you know what? I am tempted. To do this. I am tempted to have it nice and tight over there. And we'll just need to um, run these things out um, straight away this way. And that one straight out straight out this way. That that'll work. That'll work. I can't remember what's actually coming out of there, but that's okay. Uh, now let's give, get a, get a, get some of this stuff. Get get another pipe connection. There we go. And here, can we please tie that in? Oh, I like that. I like that. That looks pretty good. And what we'll do is we'll uh, get a bit of a steam connection going on over there. So now we've got that setup going. We've got a boiler running. Um, we could also do maybe a splitter at some point. I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll see about it. We'll we'll maybe get a bit of an extra excess out uh, um, somewhere. Okay, so that that'll that'll give us give us that. So that's the the first um, excess. Now, if we are going to um, run this stuff, we should be able to actually run it into this general direction. Let's see if we can bring this guy. Oh, beautiful. I love that. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to go with this just yet. But we'll do a little bit of this. We'll tie that in there. So there we go. So that's the heavy oil that needs to be potentially flared off at the start. Now, from this one, um, let's get uh, this guy to come on out and over, over here and tie that in in there. Now, what I can do is I can rip that out and get it up in the air. And maybe that is what I what I should do. Instead of just the ramp, let's just get this guy to go. Um, There we go. So that should um, allow uh, most vehicles to be able to uh, drive under there. So that's our diesel going out this way. Then we've got NAFTA. NAFTA will be um, used where? Sulfur processing. Uh, we can, uh, actually, uh, you can use the rubber maker. We can get sulfur and um, NAFTA and do uh, rubber. So let's get the rubber maker. And we're probably at the end of this episode, but let's grab the rubber maker where we will grab um, the NAFTA plus the sulfur. The sulfur is going to have to run up here somewhere. Oh, and what's what's that? Uh, what's that ratio? Cracking unit. Ooh, cracking unit we have available. Ooh, 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 ooh. We'll have to we'll have to have a look at that. Um, the rubber maker takes in twenty seconds takes three NAFTA and two sulfur 
Uh, I believe we get two sulfur every 20 seconds. So that's absolutely perfect. Right. But the naphtha, on the other hand, is going to be way too much. So naphtha, we could again burn off in the combustion um, in the combustion one. And that's probably what we could do. Alternatively, yeah, because we're going to have full eight of them. Can we can we use naphtha for anything else, though? Well, we can have multiple. Well, we won't have enough unless we ooh, 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 we still won't have enough. But anyway, a single rubber maker should um, should do do the trick over here. Let's uh, let's see if we. Oh, beautiful! I like um, potentially like this setup a fair bit. Yeah, that's not a bad setup right there. Yeah, I think that'll that'll work. Okay. Now, what I would like to do is definitely here we will definitely have to have a bit of a storage for um, for the NAFTA. NAFTA, a funny word, isn't it? So we'll we'll do that. We'll um, definitely need a very similar thing over here. So let's go ahead and tie that in. There we go. And then from um, from here, yeah, now it's going to be a little tight to get this. To, oh, actually, it's a pretty damn straight connection um, right over there. But I'd rather run it up, up, up on that side. Can we? Yeah, no, we can't. Um, if I... If I do this, that should presumably work. And we should even be able to put a storage in there. So that should uh, make all of these things accessible. Uh, ooh, the one thing that's not going to be accessible is that, isn't it? Oh, that can go straight over the top there. That's good. And what I'm keen on understanding is can I oh thread the needle, guys, thread the needle. There we go. Doesn't want to work. That doesn't want to work. That's the one that I was uh was effectively worried about. Can I cancel this thing? And we'll try that one more time and then I'm gonna end the episode and we'll uh we'll basically finish it off in the next one. Can I go straight up? I'm just going to park that one there for the time being. I'm going to try the pipe one more time. If I go, no, if I go, come on, give me that pipe. Check it out, check it out. No. There we go. Now, come on out. Transport to a selected position not found. So yeah, it still doesn't want to work. Okay, cancel that then. Cancel this guy. Cancel that guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Actually, let's do that. And do this. Uh, why? Is that the wrong? Is it? Oh, I'm looking for a U shape. <sighs> okay, crap. Do that again, but this time with a U shape. And that's going to be the end of the episode. Come on, come on. Let's uh, go up one level. There we go. Run it over that way. Drop it down. 
bring it back, bring it back, up one, up to about there, then we go down, then we run it this way, and there we go. So there is now what we're going to do there. I believe we should be able to, to get that pipe under there. Come on. Oh, it doesn't actually want to work, but... Okay. <laughs> Gonna do it one more time, one more time, and then I'm gonna end the episode. So it's not a molten channel, it's a U-shape. So we'll go up one level uh, this way. We'll run it uh, over this way over here, and we'll go up to there, and then we'll drop it down. And then we'll run it, excellent, straight up here, and there we go. And we should be able to put some additional storages and things in there. Now, um, we'll definitely be able to get out of there. And guys, I'm going to put a cut in this episode um, right over here. So it's been going on a little bit longer than um, expected. Um, but I'll continue this in the next episode and we'll then we'll start actually building it. Though it is going to cost us a fair bit to do. Um, see you next time. Bye-bye.